hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel noor networks guys in this tutorial we will be publishing our web server over the internet let me take you to the network design this is our network design so we have a web server in the dmz whose ip address is 172.16.0.100 and it is connected to vmnet2 so guys what we are going to do in this tutorial is at very first we will be configuring our ethernet 2 interface till now we haven't configured this right we will be configuring the ipv4 address on this particular interface then thereafter quickly we will be configuring a web page over here on this particular web server the third thing what we are going to do is we will be doing the configuration on the firewall where we will be creating a rule for accessing the website from outside to dmz and finally and one more thing uh, we will be doing a netting as well and finally we will validate the configuration so the very first step is to configure the ip address on ethernet 2 port which is 172.16.0.200 so let's move on to the cli we will configure it from here itself rather than going to the gui page okay admin so let's start the configuration the command is set interface ethernet to ipv4 address 172.16.0.200 subnet mask sorry subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 as you all know that this is the syntax for configuring the ipv4 address on any interface of the checkpoint firewall hit enter the second step is, uh, step is to turn on the interface right the command is set interface ethernet 2 state on and finally save the configuration so we have configured the interface ip address 172.16.0200 as per our network design now guys the second step we will be moving to create a web page before that i will show you that the connectivity that our web server is connected to vmnet2 and the ip address is 172.16.0.100 let me show you that as well going to settings over here you can see i have connected this server to vmnet2 the network adapter of web server is connected to vmnet2 and i will show you the ip address now the ip address is 172.16.0.100/24 the gateway is the interface ip address of ethernet2 checkpoint firewall ethernet2 interface ip address let's move out from here now we will start quickly creating a web page so open a notepad we will write the content welcome to noor networks and guys save this page as save as say uh, you have to save this notepad with .html let's give the name of the file as test .html and save as all file we'll save this on desktop save it let's check it and it is opening the page okay so you will just cut this file from here and you will go to C drive, init pub, www root fo folder and over here we will create one folder. Let's create it with the name test and we will paste this file over here. Once this is done, open IIS. Expand this, right click on sites and add the website. Let's give the name of the site also as test. The path will be the one where we have saved the file. Test. And just remember the folder name also it is test. IP address of the server we will choose from the drag down menu. Port will be 80. Keep this box check as it is and click on OK and double click over here 
default document and add the default page over here the folder uh, name was test so test.html click ok Let's click over here and we'll try to browse it locally as you can see locally the site is accessible we'll close this and we will move to the checkpoint uh, management sorry smart console and in the smart console the very first step what you are going to do is you will create a rule let's create a rule of this we'll give the name of the rule as web access rule or we will say website access rule the source can be any and the destination what you are going to give is the web server IP address then the service and application it will be HTTP we, we are opening port 80 which is HTTP action is accept log the traffic and install it on checkpoint gateway we'll do the netting as well over here itself web server see guys let me take you the network design again and you will see that any traffic coming from outside will land over here on this particular port right so the ip address to access this particular web server will be from this subnet itself for now we will use the interface ip address in real environment this is not the practice i will show you after this for now we will net it through the interface ip address itself so going to netting add automatic address translation rule translation method will be static and give the ip address as 192.168.0. sorry 0 0.200 the interface van interface ip address install on firewall gateway and click ok once you have done this a nat rule automatic nat rule is also created if you will see over here for the web services so guys we will install the policy over here quickly publish and install select a policy package which is lab policy for us click on install button let's wait for the policy to be installed successfully then we will validate our configuration So the policy is installed successfully. Now we will move out from here and we will validate our configuration. So to access our website, we will be calling our public IP address. That is a WAN interface IP address, which we have natted. That is 192.168.0.200. And you can see that from outside also, the website is accessible. Guys, uh, the problem is that in real environment, this won't be the scenario whenever you are taking a public ip address your service provider will be giving you a pool of ip address a eight ip address 16 ip address and so on so this ip address you will be using for different different public services like you will have a web services you will have 
email services uh, publicly hosted right on the public network the services which are accessible over the public network and of course you will need a public ip address also so when you have assigned this ip address over the interface definitely that same ip address you won't be using for the website or for some third services one ip one public ip address you won't be using for 10 different different web services so in this case what you have to do is like let's say for example from a service provider you have taken a ip addresses eight ip addresses pool starting from 192.168.0.200 to let's say 207 so guys the ip addresses which you, you have taken uh, over here, I am not talking about subnetting, so the number may differ. So you don't have to think that uh, I am doing any su wrong subnetting or anything. Uh, my main concern over here is to show you that if you are taking IP addresses, how you will use those IP addresses in real environment. So guys, let's say for example, 192.168.0.200 was the IP address which you have used for the firewall gateway interface. Now, uh, you says that you decide that 192.168.0.205 you will be using for web services. This web server should be accessible over the public network using 192.168.0.205. Later on, you will be doing the domain name and everything that is different thing. For now, we will understand how you uh, you will do the configuration on the firewall, right? So let's say you have decided that 192.168.0.205 will be the IP address which you will be assigning to web server. So in this case, what you are going to do? So guys, the configuration is quite simple and same. Let's say the web server you have given, this is the private IP address. You will create a new host over here. And you will give the name web server public IP address. And the IP address will be 192.168.0.205. It's a public IP address. Click OK. And over here, when you are doing a netting over here, you will say that web server 172.16.0.100 IP address web server will be netted automatically add a net, net uh, sorry automatic add address net translation rule the translation method will be static and you will net it to 205 the public IP address of the web server click OK over here and install the policy publish and install the one which we did earlier was also right and this is how the real environment works so guys uh, i thought that i will add this as well in the same tutorial click the uh, lab policy install the policy and once the policy is successfully installed we will validate the configuration So guys, our policy is installed successfully. Now we'll move out and uh, we'll, again, we will validate the configuration. Now this time, we won't be using 200. We will be using the public IP address which we have assigned to the web server, which is 192.168.0.205. And you can see now it your website is accessible you have used a dedicated public ip address which was 192.168.0.205 and you are able to access the website which is in the dmz zone so guys that's all uh, about the hosting the website and accessing it over the port 80 from the outside the network the website which you have uh, placed in the dmz zone so definitely we will be having a logs also for this particular rule as I told you that when we will be doing a lab on the logs at that time we will have a deep analysis on the logs and how to read the logs understand the logs but let's have a quick look over here as you can see it is saying the origin 
uh, the so uh, the source uh, that is my host laptop and then where it is going the destination is 192.168.0.205 the original ip was the web server ip which is 172.16.0.100 so this all details and then the match rule which rule is matching this particular log and so on so guys uh, hereafter i believe that we will be having three more tutorials uh, in uh, one of the tutorial we will be looking after how to configure the ssl vpn the remote access you can say and then we will have one tutorial fully on the cli uh, how you can use the command line and various commands a huge list of commands we have that we will be doing in that lab and finally we will have one totally uh, one tut separate tutorial on logs and monitoring so that's all about this tutorial guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel Please subscribe it now and do share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.